What's up guys, Deathwish back with another video today and today we are going to be covering update 4.33 we're going to be covering and going in depth and all into all of the uh, patch notes and what to expect with the upcoming update as well as taking a look at the new officer saber of the nation we're going to talk about all of his skills what i think he is going to be uh how, how effective i think he's going to be what role i think he's going to play within the game and we're also going to talk about the new officer event with the premium drink tokens and and my thoughts on that as well so without further ado let's go ahead and hop into it Welcome back, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into the new officer. Uh, the new officer is going to be Saber of Nations. We're going to go through his skills here. We're going to talk about them. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on each of them. And then at the end, we're going to wrap it up in terms of the new officer. We're going to talk about what I think he is ultimately going to do and how what kind of role I see him playing. So Saber of Nation, the brand new officer, he is going to be a artillery specific officer. He's going to be more tor more geared towards um, art being it paired with an artillery unit that you have. Skill number one is heavy bombardment tactical skill prep time eight seconds all right skill uh damn it deals damage to enemy troops damage coefficient up to 1200 once that skill is fully maxed at level five this skill does 100 extra damage for every one map grid between this officer and the target this applies to both when he's garrisoned in the base as well as if he is paired on a unit that is out in the field whether it's an army group or whatever that looks like uh so let's take for example the whole idea let's say that you guys are facing a whole uh, a couple of army groups right super heavy starts the attack off and really this is just any any kind of any form of attack but this is just for the example our right, super heavy starts the attack off right boom super heavy's gone now the base auto targets to different troops right you can't really control which which troop or troop type that the base auto attacks to sometimes it'll jump to another super heavy or a tank and then sometimes it'll start auto targeting artillery units so generally speaking the artillery units are going to be the farthest away from the base because they're going to be four and or five grids away depending on if they have maxed Antonina we're going to assume for you newer players that most players don't have maxed Antonina so they're going to be four grids away for us older players everybody's at this point basically got Max Dantonina, so they're going to be five grids away. So meaning, the more grids away they are from the base, the more damage they do. So artillery units aren't very strong to begin with. So now you're adding an extra 500, potentially four to 500 damage on top of an already very very potent uh, officer skill. Uh, that's going to be absolutely devastating, guys. That's going to absolutely just tear through artillery units. Uh, skill number two uh, is called Stronger with Age. It increases damage resist by up to 15 percent when maxed. So no Nothing really out of the ordinary there we've got other officers that have damage resist buffs as well but still a good uh, a good little buff to have skill number three is going to be armor destroyer increases damage dealt by artillery to tanks by up to 20 percent so this adds a very interesting dynamic guys and what i mean by that is uh think about super heavies right generally speaking especially us players that are in in more developed servers and facing more developed and stronger players everybody's got 7.2 super heavies right everybody's got maxed out level 60 spanner right for the healing and all this with that being said we all know that super heavies get absolutely ate up and spit back out like super heavies are are, are, are still a must-have unit because they're the strongest unit at least at this point in time in the game in terms of just raw durability however there's the, the bases and the units that that us more developed players have now just chew through super heavies so they're very they don't last very long anyway and now we've got an officer that deals additional damage to tanks specifically when paired with an artillery unit so that could be a, a very very uh game-changing dynamic there in terms of just raw base defense and how how you can farm kills and things like that skill number four is going to be target the weak artillery deals up to 30 percent extra damage to troops below 50 percent durability all right so what that means is 
it deals, there's a 30%, I'm sorry, uh, there's there's a, it's going to deal up to 30% extra damage to troops once they get to 50% or less durability, it is going to hammer down even harder on that troop. So it's going to make tanking even harder. It's going to make the survivability of troops just even harder. So it's going to add a very interesting dynamic. It's going to make, in my opinion, it's going to make army groups that much more important. And it's going to make, it's going to make the, the, the demand of super heavies and to, to get the better parts and things like that for super heavies to increase the durability as much as you can that much more important and of course the advanced combat tech for tanks and increasing durability there too so it's going to add a very very high level of importance there as well so very very interesting stuff very uh game changing stuff in my opinion i also think that this new officer is going to be very game changing for arena uh, especially when maxed i think it's going to be be very interesting to see how this all plays out i've seen a lot of players talk and they don't seem to think that this officer is going to be 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 very much in the way of game changing and i i have to respectfully disagree i think this officer is literally going to change the entire landscape of base defense of arena gameplay and things like that i really do uh, so once all four of his main skills are leveled up completely all level five you're going to get the awakened skill the awakened skill is going to be reign of blades and that skill is every artillery troop attack has a 30 percent chance to instantly activate saber of nations tactical skill so again guys just going through this list the these skill sets are very 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 uh i mean strong i mean i don't know another way to put that that's a very simple way to put that but the skill set that this this officer is bringing to the table here is, is quite literally going to change the dynamic and the landscape of this game in a lot of ways and, and, and what units and things like that people need to prioritize in terms of just raw unit development as well as uh, tech and, and how to navigate tech as well. So uh, with that being said, how we can go about getting Saber of the Nation, guys, there's going to be a new event that is... Um, going to be taking place through the bar building all right it's going to be the ex it's going to be through the exclusive lounge uh collect 10 saber of nation statues to unlock him all right his statues can be acquired through the exclusive lounge at the uh bistro all right uh with that being said uh to uh be able to unlock him guys you have to be on a server that is existed for at least 183 days all right so i want to jump over here just real quick i don't know um all of the ins and outs and what to expect but from my understanding i know kramit made a video too if you guys haven't seen that you guys should check that out of course once this update goes live uh this evening and into tomorrow i'm going to be covering it here live on the channel as well we're going to be going into more more in depth into this event and how to unlock this officer from what i'm hearing and what i'm kind of seeing though i'm not very pleased with what i have um seen so far because basically they're locking him behind an almost impregnable paywall basically it's going to be paid if what i'm seeing and hearing is actually true there's not going to be a way to be able to unlock this officer or his skills through universal statues it's basically going to be pay to play or pay to win on steroids so you're basically going to have to go into the bar and you're going to have to unlock these uh, these exclusive drink tokens and basically you can convert these standard drink tokens that you guys have got into exclusive tokens but i from my understanding you can only convert up to 40 per day or per event i'm not quite sure we're going to find that out but you can convert up to 40 into the exclusive tokens and then after that you have to just basically go through and buy the rest of the packs and the chances of you getting his statues and how many of those statues is just very very slim and it's kind of just unbelievably um pay to win if again what i'm saying it turns out to be true i hope it turns out to be wrong and i hope there's going to be an opportunity for this officer to be obtained to be unlocked and to be able to be leveled up and actually awakened through universal statues so that way not only pay to pay to pay to play uh players have that opportunity but also the free to play and the lower spenders guys because uh somebody did the math and basically it comes out to about 1500 to 2000 us dollars to unlock uh, this officer to basically max out and buy all the packs through this exclusive lounge event and that still does not fully unlock all of his skills and awaken him and that is unbelievable if you guys will remember back when the tip of spear officer released right for a period of time they had the tip of spear packs you could buy just like you can through the vip store for guardian of truth right everybody had the opportunity to buy the tip of spear statues in those packs it cost seven eight hundred bucks to buy all of them to have enough of them to be able to fully unlock all of his skills and actually awaken him 
With that being said, though, you didn't have to. If you're a, pre a free to play or a lower spender, you didn't have to because you could still use the universal statues to unlock him and to contribute to him. So I don't know. From my understanding, there's not a way to do that with this new officer. I hope there is actually going to be a way. If there is not, then I, I must say that I'm very disappointed in Lilith and uh, their approach to this because this is going to be an uh, like um, uh, unbelievably unfair advantage for the few players that do invest that kind of money. And I can tell you guys right now, if that's the case, I will not be personally investing that amount of money into this officer. And I am not going to fault anybody for not investing that amount of money. Uh, I'm not going to encourage you guys to buy him or not to buy him. But what I can tell you is I will personally, if it's that lopsided and you have to invest that much money to still not even max him, then to me, it's completely not worth it. And I will not even be thinking about doing it. And I hope that if that is the case, and there's not a way for all players to be able to unlock and, and, and max his skills, uh, then myself, as well as I hope some other, you know, key content creators in the Warpath community, uh, we can all as well as the Warpath community in general can band together and, and see if we can't get this change. Because if this is how they're going to approach future and new officers, things like that, then it's, it's going to make it very tough for players to, to, to obtain and unlock and be able to utilize these new officers and their skills. And it's just going to be very disappointing. So I hope that that is what I'm saying and what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing is not true. And if it is true, I hope that they take the time to consider revising the system to make it more balanced and fair for, for all players, whether you're free to play or not. So that's the new Saber of Nation uh, officer, his skills, as well as how we can go about obtaining him. Uh, with that being said, we are going to go ahead and jump over in here and we are going to discuss the brand new um jungle adventure event all right in the lost relics event you can use gold shovels and sil silver shovels to earn points for your alliance as well as the compass and treasure map items you can exchange compass and treasure maps for rewards at the jungle cabin for the limited edition mysterious totem decoration and other rewards uh, during the jungle ev jungle treasure search, you can now compete for multiple grand prizes in each round. The enter the jungle event allows you to compete complete missions for massive rewards. Complete enough missions, and you'll earn extra five star unit pieces. The all new king of the jungle skin is now available. All right, that is going to be the new. Um, the new base skin. All right. For those of you guys that are unaware, it's going to be, uh, it's going to, it's going to have King Kong. Um, with that being said though, it's not going to offer any out of the ordinary buffs. Uh, so if you guys have the extra money, uh, and just want to invest in it because it looks cool, by all means, you, sh you, you should uh, do that if that's what you want to do. Uh, if you guys don't, it's not offering any buffs, uh, the that are out of the ordinary like the the mad rock base skin that we just had right that offered a, a, a new dynamic of of buffs right it added a f uh, bomber firepower and things like that so it, but but this new base skin doesn't bring any dynamic to it it looks really cool uh so if you guys uh, do invest in it uh, you're not making a bad choice if you guys don't want to and you've already got a base skin or, or, or whatever that offers those same buffs, then it's kind of just subject to what, whatever you want to do. Uh, but it does look really cool. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, a little bit more in depth in here into the Bistro uh, exclusive lounge event. Uh, once a server has been opened for at least 182 days, the exclusive lounge will be unlocked. After that, the exclusive lounge will be open every month at different times for a period of up to five days. At the exclusive lounge, you'll be able to recruit new officers. New officers will periodically arrive in the exclusive lounge in the future, so stay tuned. To unlock officers at the exclusive lounge, you must spend 10 of their statues. While the exclusive lounge is open, you can select an officer you would like to recruit and spend premium drink tokens for a chance to acquire that officer's statues. For every 10 drinks at the exclusive lounge, you are guaranteed to get a statue of your chosen officer. Switching officers before reaching 10 drinks will not reset the count. Drink enough times at the exclusive lounge and you'll earn extra rewards. The main way to obtain premium drink tokens are by purchasing the lounge special gifts or by exchanging standard drink tokens. While the exclusive lounge is open, you can still visit the exclusive lounge if you migrate to a server that has been opened for at least 182 days. If you migrate to a server that has not been opened for 182 days, you will no longer be able to, ex to access the exclusive lounge, but you will keep any unused premium drink tokens. When the exclusive lounge closes, 
unused premium drink tokens will not be lost you can and they can be used later when the exclusive lounge does open again so if you guys for whatever reason migrate servers and you guys migrate to a newer server that maybe hasn't been open for that length of time necessary to unlock the exclusive lounge you will still be able to um, unlock it uh, once that server has been open for that set amount of time which is going to be 182 days so with that being said, guys, again, once this update goes live this evening, uh, we are going to be taking a deep dive into this new exclusive lounge event. We're going to be seeing how we can actually unlock this officer. We're going to be seeing if all of the things we've been hearing are, are actually accurate and how we can navigate this uh, so it's a benefit to everybody. Uh, so with that being said, that is going to be the new exclusive lounge slash drink event. Uh, to wrap up this video, there are a few other patch notes here, further optimizations. Number one. One, there will now be a permanent R0 alliance rank. New alliance members will be R1 when they join. The rank permission of R0 will be the same as R0 during the conquest events. For those of you guys that are in newer servers and have not participated in conquest events yet, what that means is that players can't block builds. If they are in an active build, it will not register as a player's there to actually block the build. So the build will continue per usual with no interruptions. Obviously, they take up a space within the build, but they can't block the build. Uh, and then they also can't go through and burn territory of allies and things like that so it's going to make the spy game especially in earlier servers that are still competing uh, in level one through three cities and competing for cities and titles and things like that it's going to add a, a little bit different dynamic to spies and it's going to make spying and getting spies to open up cities a little bit more challenging so i personally think that's a benefit i wish they would have added the r0 uh, alliance rank uh, in the game a while ago but nonetheless i think it's still good that they went ahead and added that i think that's going to be a benefit across the board to everybody it's going to save a, a lot of people a lot of headaches so for those of you guys that are familiar with r0 you already know for those of you that are not familiar with r0 now you do know and that is going to be a big benefit to you and to your alliance uh, the second further optimization patch note here is going to be covert ops stage has been optimized some stages have had their difficulties reduced uh, i have not really done too much of the covert ops we are actually going to be doing a video on that here soon uh, but to this point i've not been real interested in it it really doesn't offer anything uh, worth my time uh, so so that's kind of my take on that but we will be covering that and apparently uh for some of you guys that may have gone through that uh apparently there was some difficulties at some stages so they're optimizing that to reduce the difficulties of uh some levels uh within the new um or within the the covert ops or whatever so with that being said, um, that is going to be the conclusion. That's going to wrap up this video. That is going to be all of the patch notes for um, update 4.33. Uh, so with that being said, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, especially about this new officer, the way you guys can go about unlocking this new officer and things like that. So if you guys have made it this far, have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are not already. It helps me greatly. It means the world to me. Uh, and I will go ahead and catch you guys on the next one.